Hello from a gr chilly garage. So we've got a beer. I've got a beer mill through the week. Woodbine Fandang Fandango. Hello. It's, this is your beer. This is your beer. You're famous. You're famous now. So long time subscriber to the channel. And I was thinking about this. This came into my head the other day. And I was thinking, I'm pretty sure there was a, there was videos. This is in the old garage when I used to sit over on that side. And on this wall, I had the clock. And you, you were going on about the clock. And you could see how long, you know, how long I was out there waffling on. There was a crop. And I had to cut it all out. And then I remember, I was like, I was doing... I was doing the next video. I was like, I started making cuts, and every time I did a cut, I would go and change the clock so it would be going backwards. That was just a little joke, just just for you. So yeah, that was that seems like a lifetime ago. Hoping that was you. But I think it was. I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? So anyway, never mind all that. So he sent me yeast. So thank you very much. He sent me some Quebec yeast, Quebec, Quebec. Some Oslo. So I'm very interested in the Quebec. I, I, I always kind of liked it, but only ever, only really ever use emboss now. And then I use the um, the the other one the his name's escaped me. Um, the other week, and I was really impressed with how how well it was. I still can't remember the name. It'll come to me. Don't worry. Mid bust. Some Lutra. Now I've heard about Lutra. Lagers and stuff like that. Yes. Um, Espe. Is another one. And Evergarden. Is the other one. I would say is M Chunks. Woo. So yeah. We're going to have a party here with these. Big time. So thank you very much. That will keep me um, in beer. And yeast. For. Forever. Pretty much. Um, I do need to start. Um. Now that I've actually got the yeast to try and, you know, dry it off myself. Because I've done it for years. But he also sent me two beers. And he sent me um, a jar of honey. Which is very good. His own honey. Excellent. Um, so we've got two beers. They're both an, o an OBS, it's called. Um, which is oatmeal brown stout. Oatmeal brown stout. 4.6%. But one is an oatmeal brown stout with a dry hop. Who dry hops a stout? I don't know. This is a new one on me, I think. So uh, it's dry hopped. They're both made with Bramling Cross. But one is dry hopped. This one with Columbus. Um, it's the same beer. It's just a dry hop difference. The only other thing then was the yeast, which was the verdant, if I recall. So we're going to go with the dry hop here. And see what it's like. Okay, it smells good. So yeah, I'm not really had an awful lot of success with stouts. I was thinking about doing a a, a Russian Imperial stout, getting a big one on, and then letting it condition all year. So. But I've been so unlucky with stouts recently that I've just the thought of that and then something going wrong with that batch has kind of put me off. So I would like to make a normal stout, a good normal stout first. Um. Anyway, never mind. I was going to go into another story about something else, but that's not. Let's not waste any more time. There it is there. Brown stout. Okay, it's a brown stout. It's literally a brown stout. Is, is it actually, did you actually call it a brown stout or is it just brown for my benefit? Is that what it is? It's just, it's just a stout, um, but it's not completely black. Let's get the head up. Whoa, do it without spilling it. Okay, 4.6%, so it looks, um, it does look half decent. It's got that real, um, the lacing is kind of, it's, it is a bit like, it's gonna sound mental, but it is does it reminds me in a way of a Russian Imperial stout because because the the head is very minimal and yet it, but it's really kind of brown around the outside if that makes sense or that real 
intense town car. The first thing I, first thing I think I smell is like a peanut smell off it. That's cu that's curious. That could be the Columbus in there. Definitely the dark. You're getting the dark, the dark rain. Mm, okay, so that's smelling pretty good. Cheers. It's kind of cold in here. Oh, get hit with the Columbus there. Yes, it's got quite a better finish on it. So I was gonna say it's a bit cold in here, but it is. It is cold outside, like very cold. I think we're getting a cold snap very, very soon. So I might take the other one in. Might have the other one tonight. I will be having the other one tonight. Let's not kid ourselves. Might take it into the house and then it warm up a little bit, and then open it after that. The body is actually a medium for four point six percent. The body is medium and it's quite good. I'm quite impressed. I don't know what's in it. I mean, I don't think I've heard anyone brew on a stout. A dry hop on a stout. I mean, maybe I suppose okay, but doing it with verdant yeast as well, which seems <laughs> seems a bit mental, but you know, I'm all on for mental. If we've learned nothing over the years, it's, you know, I like some crazy shit. It's quite smooth. It's real nice taste in there. Real nice taste. It's like a little caramel note. I mean, maybe it's because of the oatmeal. If there's oatmeal in it, then... Maybe that's the reason why it's smooth. Obviously low carbonation as well. That really nice taste on that. That's interesting. And then the, on the back end, it's that, the, there is a bitterness. It's not so bitter now. I think it's just the first first mouthful. Maybe I'm just used to it or something. I don't know. I don't know how it works with um, your taste buds. If you have something really bitter, is it really bitter the second time? It's just because, you know, the initial shock or something. I don't know. Don't know. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit of the. It could uh, that could be the kind of the little berry taste, maybe from the Bramling. I'm tasting actually. Really nice. Really kind of pleasant. I would like to say sweet. But obviously, if you've got the bitterness, but it's just, it's good. That is a good beer. I'd like to know about the dry hop, though. What do you make of it? Is it, am I imagining it, or is that peanut? Is it peanut? I don't know. It's definitely an aroma of something. I'm going to try the other one later on, as I said, and we'll see what the difference is. But the, the thing that just popped in my head was, was peanut. It was like a peanut stout or something like that. But it's not impossible. It's not impossible that it could be mistaken. With Columbus, I suppose. But yeah, love a bit of Columbus. I did actually buy Columbus. I said I wasn't going to buy any more hops. Until, until I got rid of some of them in there. And I have been getting rid of a lot of them, but... I ended up just ended up banned Columbus. I did, in fact, it weren't Columbus. There was Zeus. There was Zeus. Zeus hops, which are Columbus. Let's be honest. But I'm gonna call them Zeus just out of stubbornness. Really nice. So yeah, the last couple of beers, the last couple of stouts I've done, there's something not right. 
and I don't know what it is. I mean, it could be, it's either the malt or potentially the, I'm putting like porridge oats in it. Obviously there's kind of oatmeal in this. So I don't know if I'm putting too much in or what. I need to brew more dark beers because I'm really not brewing. I used to brew loads of them and they always used to come out well. And then I kind of got out of the habit of it. Now I've lost the ability altogether. Um, other than brown eels. But even then the brown eel is this kind of weird. The one that's on top has this weird metallic taste to it. I could swear it's like it's some kind of metallic taste. It's in the keg and all like so. And you, funnily enough, the the one, the stout, the last stout that I made had a weird metallic taste. And I don't know if it's in that same keg or what. It's possible. It might be the keg or it might just be the malt, some of the malts. Maybe the malts have got old or something, I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. I'm going to go. I can just sit out here and ramble all night, but I'm not going to. So thank you very much for the yeast, for the honey, and obviously for the beers. <laughs>